do not approach me. I'm literally shaking right now because I just had a man approach me in a parking lot and it went fine. And I'm going to tell you why it went fine and how to address it because it was in a book I read and this is how you're supposed to address it, but it scared me. I'm literally, I'm literally shaking. So this guy, I am a alone with my son by myself, a woman and a male approached me in a parking lot. He's excuse me, miss. And I don't know why in the hell he was approaching me or what he was trying to do and before he i mean he was probably 30 feet from me when he said excuse me ma'am and i turned around and i literally yelled at him and i said do not approach me and he like like immediately started going in the other direction and i just kept saying it over and over and over i said do not approach me do not approach me and he of course like got like what the f did it like he started cussing and yelling like what what's your problem and i and i looked at him and he started he actually then crossed a couple cars down from my car and he didn't come anywhere near me he crossed a couple cars down from my car and was like what's con continuing to cuss and say what's your problem and i said you do not approach women in a parking lot i just kept saying do not approach me you do not approach women in a parking lot like yelling it no male no male should ever approach a woman in a parking lot ever should no male should ever approach a woman in a parking lot and if a male does approach you you need to turn around and use the strongest voice that you can possibly use with them don't be polite they need to literally screw off no male should be approaching you in a parking lot this rudy 150 million dollar judgment that's not even the worst part look at this guy there Possibly Look at the hair of his lawyer. <laughs> 150 million dollar judgment, and he's got a lawyer with that hair too. <laughs> Random things you might hear if you lived in my house. Part two. Bacon. 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 And in lands is a plot device. Oh yeah. Life is nothing but a bunch of paywalls. I'm not cute. I'm adorable. To camp, to camp, to camp, to camp a pig. Cheese is not apple. I love this duck. I would die for this duck. I wouldn't die for this duck, but I love this duck. It's like, is it overkill? Yeah. Is it necessary? Yeah. But my brain is weird, all right. Also, it is really hot. Oh my god. so rude. I'm so embarrassed. He's so rude. I'm so embarrassed. LGBTQ rights or economic stability. Why can't you have both? You need to pick one. I refuse the question. You can't refuse the question. I do. But you can't both. You need to pick one. I don't. I just don't. I just don't. Uh, no, because they're both. No. Only one. I didn't have to pick one because I'm going to vote. The answer is the vote is not. The answer is the vote is not.
refer to people who are attracted to children because it comes with a stigma. Walker also said people can be attracted to children without acting on it. Uh, a lot of people, when they hear the term pedophile, they automatically assume that it means a sex offender, uh, and that isn't true, and it leads to a lot of misconceptions about attractions toward minors. Um, I've definitely heard the idea that you brought up, though, that the use of the term minor attracted person suggests that it's okay to be attracted to children. Uh, but using a term that communicates who someone is attracted to uh, doesn't indicate anything about the morality of that attraction. My name is Alice and I am a crunchy mom. Lately, I have not been wearing feet prisons. I have noticed only benefits. I used to have severe foot pain. Now I do not. I feel more awake and more alive. A lot of how we experience the world is supposed to happen through our feet. Nobody has ever told me to put on shoes before, but I have gotten some very intense looks from old ladies. Deep throat with a lift to my whistle. Come give me a tune. Deep throat, what you put my food? I have never been kicked out of anywhere for not wearing shoes. Even places that had signs. People don't usually notice until the point of no return when I'm paying for the stuff. And then sometimes they'll like really bluntly like do that, but that's the extent of what they do. They don't even bring it up. We were in Build a Bear today and the cashier was a total extrovert. She was, she was telling us about her day, and then she noticed my feet, and she just kept like doing that like while she was talking to me. But she didn't mention it, or <laughs> he really wants me to drink water. She didn't mention it, or stop telling me about her day. Thank you, Fern. You make sure I'm hydrated, don't ya? Little girl in the purple, you can leave now. Thanks. We will, we will rock you. We will, we will rock you. Bloody hell, Boy's 18th, I'm gonna surprise him with these balloons. Here we go. <gasps> you sweetie! Hey. 18! Uh -huh. Do you like the balloons? They're yeah, pretty cool, like aren't they? Look, they're huge! Okay, okay, get out of my room oh, now. Look at you though, 18! It's unbelievable! Yeah. Yeah. Thank awesome! You for the oh, you're welcome! They're so good! Okay, let's go now, please. Uh, Attractive. Oh shit, there's many. When he doesn't have a fresh haircut, when he doesn't have style, um, when he looks like a frog, like just come on. <laughs> what makes a guy easily undriven? Driven. Not driven. Uh, just like when he talks about other chicks. Fucking toxic. What's your other vice? You or the man? Okay, you listening? All right, the way to the men is to treat your girlfriend with respect. If you want her to be 
your girlfriend, you treat her with respect. You treat her like you treat your mom. If you don't treat her like you treat your mom, you're not gonna get a yes. Be yourself, give your best, and work hard. How much should the guy pay for the engagement ring? He needs to pay again, 500. He gets paid every year, 500. He saves that towards the ring. If he doesn't, he's gonna get a no and it's gonna be embarrassing. <laughs> Thank you.